the University of Pittsburgh. Pitt's legacy of growth is evident in the landmarks of Oakland and in the reputation of its academic programs. The building of the Cathedral of Learning in the late 1920s and early 30s shifted the centerpiece of the university away from the hillsides of Oakland. At 42 stories, the Cathedral of Learning is the second tallest educational building in the world. It began as a vision of Pitt Chancellor John Bowman, who felt the city needed, as he once said, a tower singing upward that would tell the epic story of Pittsburgh. Acquiring land in 1921, and despite the hardships of the Great Depression, construction progressed. Ground was broken in 1925. Although construction was still underway, the first classes began in 1931. And by 1940, many of the building's famous nationality rooms reflecting the ethnic diversity of the region were complete. Throughout the time it took to finish the cathedral, other Oakland landmarks were built, including Hines Chapel and the Stephen Foster Memorial. Also during that time, Pitt established the Johnstown campus. The following decade saw the addition of many academic buildings to the campus. During the 60s, regional campuses opened in Bradford, Greensburg, and Titusville to meet the educational needs of the baby boomers. Though private through much of its history, Pitt became state-related in 1966 in response to growing financial concerns. The decades of the 50s and 60s saw Pitt expand its international partnerships while building a reputation for innovation and discovery. By 1974, the university was held in such esteem by its peers that it was elected to the Association of American Universities. Today, one of just 62 members. The university continues to grow in stature. Its impact can be felt through the life's work of its faculty and more than 250,000 alumni.